Over the next few minutes, I'll show you how to enable unauthenticated guest user access to custom objects on your Experience Cloud sites. We will use a Lightning Web component that displays a list of bird objects and allows the user to add additional records to the object. To save time in the demonstration, we'll start off with a GitHub repository. We will create a new Scratch org, deploy to that Scratch org, and then I'll walk you through the steps of adding the permissions to the guest profile. So if you want to follow along, get your Visual Studio code set up and your dev hub ready. Let's get started. So here we are on the GitHub repository site. We're just going to go ahead and grab the URL for this repository and copy that to our clipboard, open up source control in Visual Studio Code, clone the repository, paste in the URL, and then find a folder on our local computer to store the files. In my case, I have a tutorials folder on the root of C. We'll save the files there. That will download the files from GitHub to our local computer. And now we need to create a scratch org. So this repository has a scratch org configuration. We'll just use that and we will use the defaults for the name of the org and the expiration date. Now that we have a scratch org, we'll go ahead and deploy those files. And then once that's done, we will open a browser window to our new scratch org. Now, the first thing we need to do is go to the experience builder to drag our lightning web component onto our main page. So we'll delete the existing component and then we'll drag our custom bird list component onto the page. And then we'll go to preview and I'll demonstrate to you how this works. You just enter a new bird name and hit the create new bird button and it should show up on the current bird list. Now this works because we're currently running a system administrator. Now, if we go back to builder we will go to the settings and check the box that allows guest users to bypass the login screen so there's no authentication. And then we'll go to the profile that represents our users. And the first thing we'll do is we'll change it to uh, enable Apex class access for the controller. The Apex controller goes behind our Lightning Web component. So we'll go ahead and select that, hit save. And then we'll edit again to give object access to our guest profile. And we'll need to scroll all the way down past the uh, the standard components to find our custom bird object. And we'll give it both a read and create permissions and hit save. Okay, now that that's done, we need to go to the sharing settings. And we need to create, well, we need to go to the organization wide default. So we'll manage sharing settings for our, our custom bird object at the very bottom of the list. And we'll set the organization wide defaults to uh, public read write for external access. So we scroll all the way to the bottom once again and select public read write for our bird object. Hit save. And this will take a second, so you need to give it a minute and then refresh your page so that the setting has been saved so you can continue creating more settings. Because now we need to create a specific rule for the records themselves in the bird object. We'll say a new bird sharing rule and we'll call this bird law because that's funny to me. And we will select guest user access based on criteria. Now we have to give it a criteria and our custom object has an available field that will be by default set to true. So we can hide uh, records if we want to, but we'll just set a criteria where available equals true and we'll save that. Now we should be able to go back to experience builder and publish our site. There we go. And now we will open a new private Firefox window to simulate a guest user accessing our website. But first we need to go grab the URL for the site. So there it is. And we'll paste that into the bar. And here's our Lightning Web component with the sparrow on the right. So we'll add a couple of more birds just to show that we can both read and create the bird objects. So there you go. That's how you give access or grant access to a guest user to a custom object in Salesforce. 